I said, very meditatively like, that I would let love find me when it was right. And I put myself in the hands of the great creator. But it's a struggle. Every time I walk by a club and I hear the music, I want to go in and see what's cooking. Or if I'm surfing on the internet and I stumble across the personal ads, I start to read them. But I stop myself. No, no, you will put yourself in the hands of the great creator. I work at Tower Records and I stock the CDs of the up-and-coming divas from rock and roll and kind of bums me out. But anyway, I am accepting of life. I neither pull nor push. I let the tide carry me. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. I'm gonna be your number one, number one. Anyway, this has been my life for the past two months. Solitary. Okay, lonely. Well, downright boring. And then Seth walks into tower. Now Seth. He's tall, cute, intelligent, discerning, everything you want in a record buyer. And I was just stalking the oldies when he smiled at me. Notice he smiled at me. I'm not pushing or pulling. I'm going with the flow. I smile back. Small talk happens, blah, blah, blah. He asks me on a date. What is wrong with him, I'm thinking. There's got to be something wrong if he's asking me on a date. He is celibate. He has sworn off sex. And my guess is he figured I wouldn't be much of a temptation. He even asked me to be his celibate wife. I am a failure in my art, a failure in life and love, and just a complete failure. I suppose it could be worse. For instance, if I were diagnosed with a disfiguring and fatal ailment. But I figured God thought. That was a bit redundant.